want me to help you untangle that. Oh, no, I can do that. No, no, that, that's okay, Jennifer. Thanks a lot. Uh, Joyce, huh? Gee, it's so good to see you after all this time, and, and Jennifer, and the little guy, and... <laughs> little guy? <laughs> I'd forgotten all about that big guy, little guy. <laughs> it's about the bomb threat. Excuse me? Bomb threat. Excuse me. Oh, no, anyway, oh, come on. You... Yes, sir, it's Black Monday. Supposed to go off at 3.30? Uh, tall thing with red lights on the top out in the country. We'll find it. Can we talk about this outside? All right, right. One of you should take some albums, though. And I'll put on a tape until you get down there. Well, go back in there and get the albums. <laughs> Need I remind you that the police are going to search every inch of this station, including your desk drawer? I'll get those albums. <laughs> You were. How about this afternoon? I beg your pardon? Well, you could come to my hotel room at the St. Mark. <laughs> Couldn't we just talk on the phone? Oh, no. We could not talk on the phone. This is a hot proposition. <clears throat> yes, my man, look at this. Did you ever see such a name on a horse? Terminal disease? No, the one under that. <laughs> oh, fever's break. Wow. <laughs> Wang, I don't believe it. He put me on hold. What kind of a bookie puts people on hold? I bet they're doing this on purpose. I bet they got the phone off the hook just trying to frustrate me. I can see them looking at each other and laughing about the thought of me going crazy. But it's not gonna work. Uh, 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 uh. Grace under pressure. Uh, I think it's still locked. That's okay. concerned even though Black Monday was in the news last month for blowing up a television transmitter in this reporter's hometown of Dayton. Yeah. <laughs> transmitter? Yes. Oh, good Lord, that's it. It's at the transmitter last. Things could be worse, man. You could be sitting back at the station on top of a bomb. Yeah. something, Annie. We got, we got to do something. We, come on, think right, of something. Take it easy, Bailey. Grace under pressure, remember? Oh, don't give me that crap. <laughs> Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but this is an emergency. Andy. I'm going to cut right in on them. I, I, you can't do that. Look, Bailey, I know it's darned unprofessional, but this is serious. But, Andy. Bailey, please. We interrupt this broadcast for a very special emergency announcement. This is Andy Travis calling Johnny Fever and Ven I'm not on the air. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. The studio transmit leak is only one way. What? I said that the studio transmitter link is only one way. Until they throw the switch, the studio is dead. Well, that's dumb. Who set that up? You did. It was cheaper that way. <laughs> well, come on, think of something. Do something. Take it easy, baby. We're going to be okay. The police still have 20 minutes to get out there. Oh. Oh, well, that's great. What time did you call them? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Friends, this is Venus, your man with the slow hand and turntable to match, bringing you free-flowing music, unencumbered by the heated rush of those annoying little commercials. And now the pointers. Ah! You know, Les is right. It's that primal scream stuff really helps get it out. <laughs> Boy, when is Andy gonna call? <laughs> Here, John, call him. 
I'm sorry, man. Don't apologize to me. Tell Mama Bell you're sorry. You're right. What are we gonna do? What do you mean, we, pale face? You broke it, you fix it. <laughs> Look, it's remnants of psychedelic spaghetti. What do you want me to do? You better try and fix it, man. I don't know nothing about fixing no phones. <laughs> Look, butterfly brain. You're good with a toolbox. Use your imagination. Okay. Now I'll need that. <laughs> Arthur, please come in. I'm glad you had a change of heart. <laughs> yeah, I rushed off a little earlier today. It was kind of rude. I didn't mean to be. You couldn't be rude if your life depended on it. Oh. Have a seat. One drink. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm fine. Have your favorite. Vodka and grape juice. Purple cows. Mm-hmm. Well, short one. Two fingers. Two fingers. Uh. Thanks for the second chance. <laughs> Come on, you and I go back a long time. I didn't want to see your feelings hurt. You're a sweet man. Ah, oh, no, I'm not. Heck, you should see me when I wake up in the morning. What I what I meant to say. Oh, I say, know what you meant. You, you do. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you always. Always did know what I, I meant, even when I occasionally didn't. Oh, thank you. Will you excuse me for a sec? Oh, sure. I'm just going to change into something more comfortable. Well, well I actually... I'll be right I... back. Just make yourself comfortable, too. Have another purple cow, big guy. Oh, boy. Car's on its way. Red lights and sirens. Oh, great. Thanks, Commissioner. If there's ever anything I can do for you, just... What? <laughs> My Commissioner, really. <laughs> okay, Trevinsky, listen up, babe. I've said it once, I'm gonna say it again. No commercial, no money, no station, one, no... One more word out of you, and I'm gonna punch your lights out. No, not one more word. WKRP? Yes? Could you hold on for just a moment? The man you want to speak with is standing right here. Andy? He says he's from Black Monday. Um, get on another phone and uh, call the police. And you tell them that I'll, uh, I'll keep him on the line as long as I can. Okay. Black money? Hello, this is Andy Travis. Well, sir, uh, first things first here. Why don't you uh, start by telling me, is this a real bomb we're talking about here, or is this just a joke? It's real. Well, we've all got our problems. May I tell you mine? Thank you. You see, I have two people out there at the transmitter, and I can't reach them. Well, I guess it doesn't really make any difference that you didn't mean to hurt anybody now, does it? All right, all right, bye-bye. Just slow down. Now, do you want to tell me where you put the bomb? Uh-huh. Well, do you want to tell me why you did that? Jennifer, to tell the police it's in a toolbox. A toolbox? No, 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 I'm listening. Uh-huh, we're all guilty. I understand. Go ahead. John! That's not the way to open up a toolbox. Well, I'm gonna need a stick of dynamite to get this thing open. <laughs> Okay, all the DJs in the room that have to go to the bathroom and raise their hand. Don, you be cool and watch that record for me, all right? And don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Gay. 
he did day, he did day, he did day. Daylight come and me won't throw up. Come, Mr. Tally man, tally me banana. you have a seat. Is something wrong? Well, no. It, it just the way you're dressed. Oh, gee. I'm sorry. I was just being myself. Oh, oh well, but then you are. <laughs> oh, well, why don't you relax? I've never seen you so tense. Tense? To me? Oh, heck no. I ought to go now. Well, listen, you just got here. It was some miles between me and sleep. Did I say that? Uh, uh, Arthur. Do you remember when I used to remind you when you weren't making sense? Uh, yeah. Well, this is one of those times. Oh, well, listen, let me, let me try and explain. Uh, um, <laughs> it, 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 it's about that pro proposition of yours. Uh -huh. Well, I, I, I just came over here to tell you that, well, I don't think I can do that. Don't I even get to make my pitch? And then, you know, while I was standing there for a few minutes alone, I thought, Boy, may, may, maybe I could. Uh... Well, that's great. But I want to talk to you about it. And now I don't know whether I can again. I, as you can see, I, I'm just as good as, as ever at making decisions. Arthur, let me tell you what this relationship can mean to you. I've got some visual aids in the other room. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Well, Okay, then, just close your eyes, close your eyes, and imagine. Okay, it could be like, it could be like having a branch sales office in another city. How could it be like that? But then you wouldn't be spreading yourself too thin. Oh, my. And you wouldn't have to rely on the little guy for all the new business. Joyce. Yes. What are we talking about? We're talking about Norbert Haskins, the rep firm I work for. Rep firm? Yes. We want to represent WKRP. Oh. What'd you think? <laughs> oh, 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 I, I knew that. <laughs> Heck, you can't, you can't fool an old salesman with salesman talk. <laughs> I could never lie to you. You invited me up to your hotel room, and then you said you wanted to slip into something more comfortable. I... Oh, this is more comfortable. Yeah, I was sure, but... Uh... Oh, Arthur. I'm so sorry. I... I wouldn't mislead you for anything. Oh, no, no, look, it, it, it's my fault. You know how I am. I, I never get anything right. <laughs> you know... I'm touched that you would even think of me that way. You are? I think you're a terrific guy. I, I am? Mm -hmm. If you weren't married, I'd camp on your doorstep. Listen, if I weren't married, you wouldn't have to camp very long. <laughs> <laughs> but I am. And I, I'd better go. Okay. Goodbye, Arthur. Take care. Uh, you too. <laughs> mm. Hey. You know, uh, I could change into something even more comfortable. I, I, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> so was I. Okay. <laughs> I better go. Arthur. You know, th there is something very, very different about you. Yeah. The Old Spice. <laughs> Got any sevens? Go fish. <laughs> um. 
Ah, that was Lauren Wood, and this is Venus live from the Palace of Splendor. But I'm not alone. She's a bad mamma jamma. It's after 3.30. Uh, that's when the bomb is supposed to go off. Got any queens? <sighs> Rats. Look, uh, obviously the bomb is just jive. Uh, let's, let's hit it. Oh, why don't we stay here to 4 o'clock and just turn it over when uh, let's start with the news? Okay. But we double the stakes. Okay. What is that? What's what? Sounds like sirens. Yeah, I guess so. Well, you don't usually hear sirens in the countryside. <laughs> sounds like a lot of them. Must be a fire someplace. It sounds like you're headed this way. I know what it is. What? It's the phone company. They know what I did here today. <laughs> Coming to get me, man. Oh, paranoia. Listen, this, this. Wake up, sucker. This is the phone company we're talking about. I mean, they see everything. They know everything. They got their own covert police force. I'm probably wired for sound right now. I gotta get out of here. Johnny, e. don't use my name. Yes, thank you, Sergeant. What happened? No, the guy just kept babbling on and on until the police got there. They nailed him. Oh. Well, on line two, the police dispatcher has me patched into one of the squad cars. They're still about a half mile away. Are you still there, officer? As long as we're still on the air, it means they're okay. Andy? Did you look at the time? 3.33, right? That's it. No bomb. I knew it. Officer, it's three minutes past the time that the bomb was supposed to go off. Do you see anything? Officer? Claire, it's an old transmitter. It breaks down all the time. The bomb? Officer, are you sure? Did you see anybody hanging around out there? make any sense. Jennifer? Mr. Carlson? What is it? It's okay, Jennifer. I'll tell him. Tell me what? Come on, Mr. Carlson. We need to talk. No, no, we are off the air. Now, how can we announce we are off the air when we are off the air? I don't care, Travis. I should have been here instead of over. It's my fault. I shouldn't have sent him out there in the first place. Neither of you should be blaming yourselves. It's not your fault. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. I'll play anything. I'll play the Carpenters. I'll play Barry Manilow. Just play. Me. Johnny, where is Venus? He's. he's what? Yeah? He's. Oh, uh, no. He's parking the car. Oh. Well, listen, Johnny, listen to me. What happened down there, man? Oh, it was terrible. First, there were the sirens, and then the explosion. <laughs> the bomb was at the transmitter. I was almost killed. 
I almost hit the transfer. And by then, I was about a quarter of a mile away, but I could see the place was crawling with phone cops. <laughs> The bomb was at the transmitter. That's what we've been trying to tell you guys all afternoon. Don't kill. you people get it? It was the phone cops. What is he talking about? He beat the daylights out of the phone. He thinks they were after him. Naturally, when we heard the sirens, we split. He split. I stayed on the job. Then I realized he was driving off in my car. I had to chase him across half a cornfield. Well, at least you guys got... <laughs> At least you got out of there before the bomb exploded. Yeah, I tried to tell you, man, these phone cops play hardball. I don't know how to tell you this, but there is no such thing as phone cops. Oh, sure. Cover for him. What? Look, the real cops... Oh, look, look at me. The real cops caught the maniac that did it. The real cops are in on it. What is this? Apparently, the bomb was hidden in a toolbox. Toolbox? The toolbox? <laughs> Johnny, Venus, you're alive. The newsman's eye. You just can't fool him. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Gee, thanks, Les. Of course, I'll have to update my story. Story. How'd you like it, Andy? How'd I like what, Les? My four o'clock news report. Didn't you listen? Les, the transmitter blew up. Of course, that was my lead. <laughs> <laughs> You, you led off your newscast by telling them that we were off the air? No. But I can include that in my update. WKRP in Cincinnati will be back after this. No, not, not going to go to the club tonight. Hmm. Coming straight home. <laughs> I'll see you soon, sweetheart. Bye. Well, Bucky said it'd take about a month to fix a transmitter. Oh, good. Well, maybe I can start my vacation early. Hopefully. Now, wait a minute. Not so fast. I just got off the phone with Clark Callahan over at WPIG, and he said he would let us use his auxiliary transmitter. What a guy. I tell you, Travis, now that's what I like about being part of the Cincinnati broadcasting community. Competitive? Oh, heck, yeah. But when there's an emergency, we all pull together, by golly. We help one another. <laughs> Hey, he said it'd cost about $800. A month? A week. The swine? Good night. Good night, Travis. $800. Oh, Jennifer, before you leave, would you do just one more thing for me? Of course. Would you call your florist and have him send a dozen long stemmed roses to my wife, please? I already did that. <sighs> Jennifer. You really are the best, you know? Thanks. Good night, little guy. Good night, big. <laughs> 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 